Hi everybody, Space Chunky here. Hope you're all keeping very well. So, going to do a video on getting started in salvage once again, because obviously this seems to be the real big money earner at the minute. However, we need to do some salvage missions before we can obviously start earning the big money. And what you're going to need, you're going to need the Vulture, which is this little beauty in front of me. Now, you can buy this down in Lawville for under 1.3 million alpha uec which i think is extremely cheap so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go on and accept a salvage contract uh, i'm being scanned while in the hangar oh, that's absolutely fine so let's go to the contracts salvage see if we've got anything near us just to get us started now we need to do a few of these to actually unlock the next tier so I will obviously add up how many I actually do, and obviously I'll report that back as well, just so we uh, we know what we got. So we've got Hurl L4 and Mick L1. Let's go on our skyline. Hurl L4, which is going to be the nearest one to us. So that's the contract we're going to grab. So Hurl L4. And you have a thousand down for UEC to get started. So that's that. I will grab the mercenary just in case we come across any undesirables. Now, one thing you need to make sure you bring with yourself is a multi-tool with the tractor beam attachment. All right, so make sure you grab yourself your multi-tool with the tractor beam attachment. Uh, I've also kitted myself up with just a backpack, a couple of guns and some ammo as well. Med pens and the med gun, just in case we run across any... Uh, any nasties on the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ourselves to the actual salvage site where I'll bring you back in and we'll run through obviously the controls for actually doing a bit of salvage. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So we've arrived at Hurl L4. Now there is no jump marker to get to the salvage claim. So just for information you will need to fly say the last depending on obviously where you drop out of uh, space possibly up to 67 kilometers just by flying to the actual salvage claim itself so try not to worry if you get there and you think there's no salvage marker to jump to you will just have to fly to it so take your time some of these can be in a really heavy populated asteroid belt so again just take your time get there safely uh, and once we have actually arrived i'll bring you back in I'll again talk you through all the controls that you need to know for actually yeah uh, Doing a bit of salvage so i'll see you guys once again in a second right so we've arrived at our salvage claim one of the first things you're going to want to do is actually scan the ship so if you push v you'll see it marks the actual ship itself hold down your left mouse button it will actually cycle through the actual ship telling you about it as you can see on the left hand side and also what cargo it's got on it so even the very cheap contracts there is a limited amount of cargo as you can see here there's a couple of iron and there's one of corundum sorry eight scu i beg your pardon of iron and one scu of corundum so even these cheaper contracts you do get some cargo inside the actual ship so you need to obviously go out the back of the ship and obviously get those boxes but we'll do that in a sec so what i want to do it's going to run through the actual controls so now we've scanned our ship what we want to do if you push m on your keyboard it brings out your mining lasers now you've got um a range on these as soon as you go past 15 meters i think you'll find yourselves a little bit too close and when approaching the actual salvage do it very very carefully because if you do knock into it a, you run the risk of knocking off one of your actual uh, modules on the end of the actual vulture. And B, you send the actual salvage into a spin. And it just spins and spins and spins. And it's an absolute nightmare. So you really don't want to be clattering into that. So you've got two actual mining modules which you can change to. You've got the cinch scraper, as you can see here. It's a 1.5 meter diameter. It scrapes the holes at 0.6, as in speed. 
Efficiency is 0.85. If you right click on your mouse, we will change the actual module to the Abrade. I think that's how that's pronounced. So what you'll see here is look, the diameter changes to 3.5 meters. Speed is now 0.14 and the efficiency drops to 0.76. So again, I think you'll find the cinch works a little bit better on the actual speed and efficiency. Obviously it does have a slightly smaller diameter. So what you can do, you can change the, how your modules work. You can spread the actual scrapage. So if you hold left alt and use your middle mouse wheel, you can see here, you can actually change how far apart the modules work. So I personally normally have it so they just overlap in each other. So it gives us a slightly wider arc for when actually doing the salvage. Probably doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, but to me, that's how I actually I do my salvage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the ship into position. I'm going to get to the back of uh, the Titan. Line myself up so I can get these cargo boxes off. Uh, where I'll bring you guys straight back in. So obviously we can just literally see us getting those boxes across into our ship. So I'll bring you back in once we're all lined up. So we've lined ourselves up with the back of the Titan. Now, obviously, this is where your multi-tool and tractor beam come in useful. So we're just literally going to grab these boxes off. Personally, iron isn't really worth bothering about. Um, it's entirely up to you whether you want to take it or not. But the actual value is, is very, very little. So what you can do is just move the iron out. And the one we want was obviously the corundum. This one here. What we're going to do is we're just going to pop it down on our cargo grid. Just like so. What we do is we're just going to hover across. And make sure we're not missing out on anything else. So that last one in there is another iron. And obviously the way to tell is when obviously you put your multi-tool tractor beam on it. As you can quite clearly see. It says iron on there. And that's the easy way to tell. So yeah, iron personally isn't worth a lot, but if it's your first contract and money's really tight, grab the iron, chuck it on there, because it does have a profit. But obviously what you've got to think about is obviously your cargo space when you're actually scraping the hull as well. But obviously that should give us plenty of space in there. Right, so I'm going to get back in the ship and I'm going to begin actually salvaging the hull where I'll bring you guys back in so you can see the actual uh, modules in action. So once again, what you want to watch is this here. We're 20 meters out from the actual uh, Titan itself, which I find a comfortable position. Once you're happy with your, once you're lined up, if you push G, which is basically like gimbal mode, what you can do is you can move your mouse all around here, there and everywhere. But what you're not doing is you're not moving your ship. All right, so I hope that makes sense. So once you're in position, push G and you can move your mouse here, there, as I say, and everywhere and start actually scraping the whole of the ship. So let's get started. It's not as quick as it used to be. Now, as you can see, the two modules, as I move, you have the circles that fill up and then empty of the blue. And that is telling you that you are scraping all of the metal off the hull of the ship when it gets to the outer circles so you do need to take your time don't rush it just let it obviously go to the outer circle and you're then you know obviously you're maximizing the actual salvage as well now if your lasers go off you can see there it just says no target and they obviously separate but just take your time bring your lasers back onto the target just can continue to actually salvage the hole. So what I'll do is I'm going to bring you guys back in once we fill the box. And I'll show you where that comes out. And I'll see you uh, in a few minutes. 
Now, I wanted to bring you guys back in. We've nearly finished our first box. Now, what you don't want to do is continue to actually salvage the hole when you've got a full box, because all you're doing is you're just losing the actual salvage. So when the filler box tells us, there you go, filler station's ejecting. Now what happens is this bar fills up as you're salvaging, and once it empties, it will go obviously show as an empty bar again. So once that's actually ejected, there we go. So now what that's done is that's moved our box out of the actual elevator. Uh, and now obviously we've got a box in the back of the ship ready for us to move. This one here, this is the vehicle hull. This is basically telling me I've still got 67% left to scrape of the actual ship hull. And depending on where obviously you look and that sort of stuff, it will change. So unknown part, 60%. Vehicle hull again, obviously again, it all, all depends on obviously what you're looking at. So there's certain bits, I like added bits of wing and all that sort of stuff that obviously show differently. But as you can see, it does give you an outline. So I've got 67% left of this bit that I'm doing here. So what we do is we're continuously salvaging the rest of the ship. Uh, I will bring you back in once the actual second box is full, because then we need to go into the back of the ship and move some boxes around. Right, so second box, nearly done. Now salvaging isn't the most exciting thing unless you uh, like using like jet washes and that sort of stuff. So it's always quite nice to maybe have some music in the background when you're doing this. Right, here we go. So that's our second box done. So what we now need to do is we need to get ourselves into the back of the ship, back into the cargo hold. Hopefully they'll fix that little bug soon. So we jump down. So if you do forget to bring yourself a multi-tool, don't panic, because you can make one. Just off this. So what we'll do is, we're going to move this box across. So what you would do is, just so you know, you'd click on create. And then it gives you a list of what you can do, so... Obviously, you'd want the multi-tool, and then you'd want the tractor beam attachment. All right. And it will take probably two boxes to actually make that. So we're just going to move ourselves back across. Use our tractor beam. Now we've got, obviously, where the grid obviously highlights purple is where the boxes can go. Now, if you've got a particularly big salvage job, and you don't want to keep coming backwards and forwards, you can carefully stack them on the far left and bring them all the way towards you like so. Now, obviously, when they're in the purple grid, they're obviously locked into place, just like so. Now, we've got one more in there. Because that box is in the way, sitting on that pad there, we need to click Eject. Once you move that one, I'm just going to pop that one there. And at the top here, you can see how much little salvage I've got left now of the actual Titan itself. So let's get back up. We'll finish our job. And then we'll see uh, how many boxes we got out of that one little job. Right, so that is the Titan. Pretty much scraped within uh, everything I can get off it. I've literally left 4% on the actual uh, hole there. So we've managed to get two full boxes out. And we've got half in our actual compactor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to my next contract. Because obviously what we're trying to unlock is the higher tier salvage missions and then obviously once we get to those salvage missions the bigger the ships then obviously the more chance we've actually got of finding bigger containers in the back of the ships um, but what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to add up how many ships I need to do before obviously we start opening up the big contracts where we can obviously find uh, might be mining minerals in the back we could obviously find some dodgy cargo full of drugs and obviously that's where we start earning the big big money but i will add those up i'm going to end this video here so what you need to do now is if you want to you want to go and empty your ship personally i'm going to go on and do another contract and fill my ship up uh, you would need to head to a tdd so anywhere obviously on any main planet and sell your cargo at one of those destinations all right so head to one of the main planets a tdd sell your cargo just there 
Um, otherwise, I'm going to head back out onto my next contract. I hope this video has been really helpful to you. If there's anything you need to know, do obviously leave a comment and I will come straight back to you and let you know. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, head back on to my next contract, work out how many it is before obviously we start hitting the, uh, the big time cargo where I'll do another video and obviously we can talk about obviously what ship you need to be able to obviously move the cargo backwards and forwards and sell it obviously the TDDs and hopefully make a big profit. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like the video. Please don't forget to leave a comment, comment and most of all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for the support. It's really appreciated and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.